Give me two minutes and I will explain exactly why we care about what calculus is, what it's used for, and the core concept of calculus, which we call the derivative. First of all, why do we care? Here behind me, I have a rocket launch. So when a rocket launches, the trajectory is always changing with time. The speed is always changing with time. The acceleration is always changing with time. The fuel burn is always changing with time. Do you see a pattern here? Everything is always changing with time. If you're studying magnetism or electricity or pressure disturbances or building almost anything with fluid dynamics and engineering or any other field, in general, things change with time. So what we really want to know is how do we study things that are always changing in time? Now, if you remember back from school, you learned about a line, specifically the slope of a line, but little did you know that the slope of a line is actually the foundation of calculus. So you learn that you have a line and you have a point on a line here and a point on a line here. And you can get a number called the slope of this line by subtracting the y values, that's the rise, and then subtracting the x values, that's the run, and you called it dividing rise over run and you had this equation. All it's measuring is how tilted is that line. If the slope is like this, it's like a medium, uh, a medium slope. If the line is steeper, the slope is a bigger number. And if the line is shallower, that is a lower slope. So the number represents the slope. But the nice thing about lines is that the slope is always the same because the line is not changing over time, unlike the real world where everything is always changing over time. So in a real trajectory like this, what we want to know is the slope of the curve right here, where it's tilted here. But at a different spot on the curve, the slope of the line tangent might be a little different. Here, it might a little be, be a little bit different. The slope of the tangent line to some real thing changing is always changing itself. So we need more advanced tools. So let's say we have a curve like this. What we do is we draw a straight line through the curve and we calculate the slope of that straight line. We get a number. Then we bring the right-hand point closer and closer and closer to the left-hand point, calculating the slope of the line that goes through those two points. Eventually, we get to the slope of the line tangent. That is what we call the derivative. So the definition of the derivative in calculus is the rise over the run, and the limit is taking those two points closer and closer together. And that's how we analyze things that are changing. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.